Clothing is something that everybody needs. Unfortunately, it's not something that everybody is able to have. The things that I've witnessed throughout Southern Africa, children have either their father's items or clothes on with a big hole down the side. It's what keeps people warm at night, literally. Hand Me Down really came about where my husband and I travel through Africa. He owns a company called SA Adventure, where we do African expeditions. That allows us direct access to all these communities. We're able to not only see what goes on and what the need is, but to fulfill it as well. We work very closely with the Maliba Community Trust as well as the community workers and really we're targeting those who are most needy, children who don't have moms or dads and are taken care of by their elders. The communities that we go to are really rural areas, they're high up in the mountains and these children do not have access to clothes. What we're trying to do in the community is a sustainable development plan whereby they collect litter in exchange for hand-me-downs. We really want to teach them that you have to do something to receive something. As soon as you come off the main road you can literally see the decrease in litter around the streets. Beforehand there was litter everywhere and children begging on the side of the road for sweets and money and that has all changed. We're not allowed to give the hand-me-downs to the people directly. Purely from a respect perspective we've had to get permission from the chief we've had to get permission from the community workers. And we don't want these children to see that the hand-me-downs are coming from us. We want that respect to come to their caregivers. Daniel is our side counterpart at Maliba Lodge. And really, Daniel's role is an integral part of this. I'm feeling very grateful about the trust and the hand-me-down because all the people are benefiting. The children are also learning that to get something you have to work for yourself. It's helping us very much. We have what we call collection stations that we position at either corporate companies or at schools. People in Johannesburg and bigger cities collect clothes that they don't need anymore, they donate them to us and we redistribute them to the children that, that actually need them. It's a win-win. I mean, we, we're a bunch of adventurous people. We have fun while, while doing good. When you actually get to interact with the kids and play with them and hear them laughing and you can feel their energy and they're always just so thankful to, to be able to interact with new people, but yet the privilege is ours. Hi Michelle. Hi, how are you? I'm well. I have a little token. Yes. To thank you for everything that you've done and you are doing. Thank you. This is a certificate. Ah, awesome. From f and and we have some goodies for you for thank the kids in Lesotho. Here we've got some clothes, some scarves, some beanies. Lots and lots of beanies. <laughs> did you this get is, a surprise? Yeah, did I just get a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It's so good, hey? Oh. I'm all emotional. Sorry, this I project's like really close to my heart, so the fact that people are buying into it is awesome. Thanks very much. I've been coming since 2011 and I've literally watched these children grow up. So it's a relationship. It's not just about coming for a day and handing something out. It's about growing with these children. I am happy, I am happy. Yeah, today I am happy to see you and with you. What I'd like to see happening is more people engaging with their communities, getting out there and helping. Interact with the local people, the country that you're traveling in, and talk to people and support their local communities. We have a phenomenal country and we have phenomenal people in it. If I can make one little child have hope, I've done my job.